Hey guys, um, I was just out here dip netting in this very cold morning here in uh, Florida. It's February 2013. The weather outside right now is about 20 degrees, um, 27 to be exact. And I've been dip netting here because I'm doing uh, a lot of amphibian work this year, a lot of amphibian conservation work. And uh, well, I put my net in the water and I got this uh, this nice adult female uh, peninsular newt or Nodophthalmus verdensis periscola. Okay, well, the peninsular newt is definitely one of Florida's most common amphibians. Um, you can find them in pretty much any swamp as long as it is uh, uh, lacking predatory fish such as bass, bluegill, uh, warmouth, uh, stuff like that. Um, and dense vegetation is really all you need. They, they eat a lot of uh, prey items. They eat a lot of stuff like crayfish, uh, frog eggs. Um, they just have a huge menu of food out in these swamps. Um, they're just really magnificent animals in themselves at the fact that um, their lives are started off just like frogs and uh, other salamanders. Um, they lay their eggs in the water. The female lay about two to three hundred eggs individually and they hatch out uh, a couple weeks later and they start their larval stage. Um, they grow their front legs first which is one of the major differences between frog larva and salamander newt larva. Um, now a lot of people ask um, what's one of the major differences between a salamander and a newt? Um, really it's it's one is identifying the actual species in itself. Um, if you know you don't have a lot of salamander species in your area um, it's, it's probably a lot easy to start canceling a lot of those out. Um, here in this part of Florida where I'm at I really only have the eastern tiger salamander and the dwarf salamander. That's it. So, um, if you have a hard time identifying um, the newts, because um, there is a, another newt here in Florida, uh, there's actually two other species I recall, the central newt and the striped newt, which is, the striped newt is a uh, threatened species in Florida. Um, but uh, peninsula newts definitely, um, definitely live and inhabit pretty much all of central Florida. Um, and you can really just identify them because uh, newts tend to have drier, wartier skin than salamanders, um, than your typical salamander, because these do go on land here and there, but um, they spend most of their life in the water. So, um, as you can see, it's not the best uh, walking on land animal. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a great animal. It's definitely a great blessing to find this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put her back in the water and uh, see what else we can find today.